Welcome to Media Minute. For this edition, we're talking about some games that we would like to see updates of, and uh, I'm going to try to fix up some companies. We'll be back right after this. Welcome to Media Minute. I'm Michael Forward. I'm Chris Raskowski. And uh, it's been a while once, <laughs> once again. Yeah, we've been slacking. Yeah, yeah. Been a, been a well, weird spring. Yeah, not maybe not slacking, but we, we've been busy. Yeah. So we're trying to maintain. A schedule? Yeah. Of some sort? Something like that. Yeah. Well, it was like pre pre uh, St. Patrick's Day <laughs> last time. Post, yep. post Valentine's pre uh, St. Patrick's Day, but... Uh, now we're post at St. Patrick's Day, so. So we got next Easter, I guess. Yeah, yeah, Easter's coming. So happy Easter. Yeah, at some point. Yeah, <laughs> whenever you see this. Oh man, yeah, but no, it's uh, yeah, it's it's been a little while, but that's okay. That's okay. We'll get back in the swing of things. Yeah. I hope. Oh yeah. I hope. Uh, have you been? Uh, what have you been up to? Have you been checking in any movies or anything? Uh. Oh, what did I watch? Um, this oh. Uh, it has Elijah Wood in it, and he goes to see his, like, father, and all hell break, breaks loose. The Hobbit, no. <laughs> I wish. Lord of the Rings, no. I wish, I, oh, I can't remember what it's called. Jeez, I can't remember the last time I saw Pull Elijah Wood in something. Uh, yeah, he's, he seems to kind of, like, just hang out in, like, B-horror movie. Yeah. But, like, like. Same with uh, Daniel Radcliffe. Like, it's. Yeah. Those two always get mixed up with one another. I think the last thing I saw Radcliffe in was um, Swiss Army Man. That was a good movie. Yeah, that was that was pretty neat. That's fun. Yeah, I haven't seen it since it came out. Uh, it's like four years ago now, or something like that. Oh, at least. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. yeah he, he's he's done like some he did a thing where he had like horns or something like that too. Radcliffe, yeah. Yeah, I think it was called Horns. I think you're right. Wasn't that done right. by like David Bowie's son? Could be. Directed by. Well, he's got he's got that like Harry Potter Harry Potter money, so he can just do whatever. Yeah, he's he's definitely got um, fu money. Yeah, yeah. Well, since we're on the topic of Harry Potter, yeah, everyone's freaking out about the uh, uh, Hermione picture. What? What's the actress's name? I'm it's, I'm having a brain fart. Uh, Emma something. Emma Wal- 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 Watson. 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 Uh, we're, we're, we're not we're, Harry. We're, we're not Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah, so we're yeah, kind of showing right now. Yeah, but apparently there's been a picture of her on some red carpet, and everyone's freaking out about it. It's like, oh, well, I'm not sure. That's what feminist or feminism makes you look like. I don't know. Weird. I haven't paid attention to it. Weird stuff. Uh, I, I've been since it's warming up. I've been getting out walking again and doing the audio book nice. thing. Uh, doing some Warhammer 40k audiobooks oh. recently. Uh, okay. Just a couple of. Uh, there are a lot of Warhammer 40k audiobooks. <laughs> there's a just yeah, there's a ton of fan fiction. Like, even like I was looking at Xbox games the other night. Yeah. For Warhammer. Oh, Warhammer. There's oh, a, there's a ton of them. There's I don't even ton. know where to start. Yeah. Uh, but the two series that I've been listening to, uh, one's uh, the Eyes and Horn series. It's about a uh, Inquisitor, and uh, okay, how he kind of gets. I think he gets slowly. I've read like two out of the three books, and it's like. He slowly gets tainted by chaos from the from how it seems. So I have so many questions. Yeah, the other is uh, Caiaphas Kane, and this is it's more of a if there was a light hearted Warhammer book, like okay. there, there's this this guy. He's like a, a commissar, and uh, in in Warhammer 40k, the commissars basically enforce like the rules. So like they're the guys that shoot you if you desert. They're like the judge. Judge Dreads? Yeah, pretty much, Kinda? pretty much. But this guy, like, he's not, he, he's, he tries to stay alive and out of the thick of hidden things, and uh, he inadvertently becomes the hero a lot of times because, like, he's he ends up in the wrong place at the wrong time or the right place at the right time, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they're, that, they've been fun. They've been fun. But, yeah, there's, like, one series uh, has, like, 40 books in it or something like that, so. Crazy. Yeah, it's very British too. 
Uh, how so? Well, uh, like uh, the guys who made Warhammer, they're out of uh, Britain. So, like, are they? It, yeah, everybody, everybody has kind of this uh, British accent and stuff like that. So, very, uh, it's kind of like Black Adder type language. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's been fun. Kind of like reading a. No, I was, I was going to say Irvin Welsh, but he no, he's Scottish. Yeah. Never mind. Let's move past my, <laughs> my my failed point. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, speaking of Warhammer and games. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I inadvertently stumbled into a segue. Yeah. How, yeah. yeah. I, I, How do you like that? I didn't try this. Hold on. I'm going to have to turn up the volume on this. Okay. Camera. Pump up the volume. Christian Slater reference. Love it. Yeah. Good. Let's try that. Okay. There we go. Sorry, people. Yeah. Uh, I know you're on the edge of your seat while I adjust the volume. Yeah. Uh, games that we'd like to see updates of. and uh, Oh, I got lots. Yeah. As I mentioned, I might as well kick things off. Uh, Give her. With Warhammer. Uh, there yeah. was um, a Warhammer 40K game called uh, Final Liberation, and it took place, like, at the epic scale. So there's all sorts of, like, titans and stuff like that. It's a turn-based strategy game. Oh, which are a Probably my favorite. Yeah. I think that might be in my Amazon cart right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, well, Final Liberation was uh, came out in like 96 or something like that. It was a DOS oh, game. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, Love me some DOS. Yeah. But that no, was great. Like uh, you slowly, a- as like the Imperium, you slowly like retook this planet from the uh, the orcs. And oh, okay. you had to manage your equipment and stuff like that. So it was good. I'd like to see an update of that. Like a part two or just a revamp? A uh, revamp. Yeah. They also have a like fresh coat of paint. 90 cheesies, uh, 90s cheesy, like full motion video cut scenes oh, in it. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Gotta love that stuff. When like they used to shove, they had CDs and they needed to fill up the CDs. Like they had yeah. the game. And what else are we going to put on uh, with all the space? We'll shoot some video. Stick some people in some cheap costumes like, yeah, like so Bob Bob from accounting. Stick him in a, a like a space marine costume and uh, <laughs> yeah, throw some uh, green screen. Or, or I guess at that point it would have been blue screen. Yeah, yeah, very very much like blue screen stuff like that. All about it. Yeah, Sega CD. Oh yeah, I'll never that, forget that was, you. That was the peak of FMV. That's amazing. Yeah, Night Trap. Yep. <laughs> and that one with Corey Ham. Oh. Oh, where you're Cor- trapping like robbers? Oh, I had it. I shouldn't remember this. Yeah. And that, well, yeah, Corey Ham. Like Night Trap had the, uh, they were vampires, but they weren't really vampires. Like, they had like these weird like yeah pick them up claws, like you're picking up yeah litter. Yeah, there was the but game that girls like, instead apparently. It was, it was res- weird. Yeah, it's partly responsible for the modern rating system that we have because yeah it was. But if you watch it like these days, like they were talking about how violent it was and everything, but it's it's like really cheesy like eight. 90s, 80s, like... Yeah, it's like uh, slasher movies in the 80s. Like, you see boobs, not but... A, not even that. Like, you don't see any blood or anything True. like that. True. Yeah. Yeah. Precursor to, uh, like, the Five Nights at Freddy's stuff, because you're kind of flicking through cameras, watching for things. Is that what... Because I've never played Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Is uh, that what it's like? Yeah, you're pr- just pretty much, it's, it's like... Room to room kind of There's thing. these... Haunted anim- animatronics, and uh, you're like the se- overnight security guard. So you watch the animatronics okay. kind of move around and make sure that they don't eat you. Like Wally's World. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Except you're not Nicolas Cage, and you don't get to lay the beat down on, on the animatronics. Man, I, I never mm-hmm. got to go to like, like Chuck E. Cheese or anything when really? I was a kid. So I feel like I missed out on the whole like cr- uh, creepy looking animatronics thing yeah you probably did yeah it's fun like, but anyway anywhere with a ball pit you're... yeah but how how sanitary was that ball pit uh, who cares we're, we're post-covid that's true that's true. sanitary sanitation is just gone <laughs> screw it yeah now like yeah well, I mean, I was in Newfoundland. We didn't have like Chuck E. Cheese, right? No there. Chuck E. Cheese. Hey. There might have been oh, one. Great. There might have been one in St. John's, but uh, yeah, I, I always see the commercial for it. It's like oh, they got like arcade games and pizza. Like oh, yeah. when you're like nine, it's like that's like heaven. Oh yeah, they nailed their demographic. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you got skee ball. You take your red tickets. 
yep. that you spent like 30 bucks on and you, you get, get like a, a pen or like a plastic whistle. Yeah. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. Anyway, uh, going back to our. Oh yeah. Topic. We had, we had topics. Yeah. Yeah. What right, would you right, like right. brought back? But what up Chuck E. Cheese? Yeah. Big fan. Got some memories of you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting on you. Oh, we, okay. Oh, yeah, my turn. Yeah. Uh, Little Nemo. Oh, yeah. Based on the anime. Yeah. It's a pretty standard Side platformer. Stroller, right? Yeah. 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 Definitely a right in the, the popularity of the Mario games. Yep. Probably Mario 3. But, yeah, Little Nemo. Awesome anime. Yep. I haven't seen it, actually. No? Oh, check it out. Yeah. It's basically this kid who just, like, falls asleep in his bed. Yeah, it's his and dream. He's carries away and he gets yeah. to ride animals. Nice. And beat up bad guys. Yeah. That's obviously a, a lazy uh, description. But, yeah, you walk around, you beat up bad guys, you jump on them, you throw candy at, like, all kinds of weird animals. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying my best, not to swear. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a typical Saturday night. Yeah. Jumping on stuff, throwing candy at animals. All right. I, I, I'll try to put, because we got in trouble last time for the whale video. Did we? Yeah, we did. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to try to put some footage of Little Nemo right here. There we go. Yeah, let's pause for a second. <laughs> there we go. That should be enough. Time. So that definitely wasn't an exploding whale. Nope. Okay. I mean. <laughs> I, I, I could throw that in there. We might as well. We already got in trouble <laughs> once. Like, we're, we'll, be, we'll be a... Rele- relegated to uh, I, I, bit I, I, shoot and Odyssey. Oh, we're on Odyssey, by the way, now. Yeah. I should probably throw a graphic somewhere. I don't know. I'll find a spot. Imagine, that's that's the type of game we need, an exploding whale simulator. Yeah, right? Yeah. I'm down for that. <laughs> I'm not sure what the game would consist of, but just walking around waiting for the whale to explode, I guess. you gotta, you got to find a spot. To put the dynamite? Yeah. Like, to cause the most damage to the cars in the parking lot? Yeah. Yeah. Because those cars got messed up. <laughs> they did. They got they destroyed. <laughs> I'm surprised no one got hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if someone was in, like, one of the cars, like, it's completely flat and roof. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, if you're going to blow up a whale, do it responsibly. Yeah. You know, well, well, they you, will you know who I'm talking to. <laughs> if you leave them alone, they'll explode naturally. Cause the gas, I guess they do. Hey? Yeah, the gases inside get uh, trapped. Um, actually, yeah. yeah, back home, like, there was a couple of whales that washed up shore and uh someone actually made a, w- a website has the whale exploded yet <laughs> was it a countdown yeah well it just uh just an update it's like no but uh man terrible smell like oh i can't imagine yeah it was i've they, never smelled a whale even a, like a de- yeah a, a weak old dead whale on a beach not great, not yeah, great. We, we just I drove can't. by and like the uh the smell man Ooh. Like, I've smelled dead bodies. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I, I got to imagine a whale smells worse. Because there's more of it. Yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. More lard, more rendering. Yeah. They eventually brought in, uh, like, the local university, like, hired a bunch of people. They went in, they sh- basically stripped all the flesh from it, and they took the bones so they could study it at the university or display it or whatever. Yeah, waste not want not. Yeah. Be a that'd be, that'd be a that. dro- job though, like cleaning up a dead whale in the middle of summer. Yeah, you come home just like smelling, smelling like whale, whale. Why do you smell whales, honey? It's like, hey, how do you know what a whale, a dead whale, <laughs> smells like? Yeah. And B, I'm sorry. Yeah. Just just trying to earn the dough. Someone's got to do it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Doing my best. <laughs> anyway, going back to our topic. Oh yeah, we had topics. Yeah. Um. Here here's one. Um. Back in the 80s, there was a, uh, it was a Ghostbuster video game. came out on a couple okay. different platforms. We had it for the Commodore 64. The most infamous version of it, though, is like the Nintendo version because the end screen had some really bad like grammar and stuff like that. It was like, congratulation. Oh, I think I remember that. Yeah, it's like, congratulation, you have played a great game. You have proven the superiority of our culture or something like that. It was, it was like a really bizarre end screen but the uh the fun part about that game though was like you basically ran a ghostbusters franchise so like you bought 
equipment and uh, you put stuff on your car and made money. So I, I'd like to see like a moderate iteration of that where like you're kind of managing a Ghostbusters franchise. You're trying not to cause too much damage. Yeah, you're outsourcing. <laughs> yeah. Kind of like a Ghostbusters meets a, I don't know, Sim City. Pretty much. Or Sim Coaster. Pretty much, yeah. Like you're you're managing a Ghostbusters office, getting equipment and stuff like that, hiring hiring dudes. Yeah, like, it, there's no reason it would be directly, like, just concentrated in New York City. Yeah. Like one. Yeah. This, what about what about uh, what, what, Yonkers? Yeah. Actually, that is in New York. <laughs> what about New Jersey? <laughs> Jersey. Shout out New Jersey. Yeah. Actually, there's like a bunch of like Ghostbusters fan films that people have done like their own like franchise. It's like Ghostbusters right. Oklahoma, stuff like that. Chasing down scarecrows. Yeah. Well, no, people have made like little like independent movies though, where like there's the Ghostbusters in like Salt Lake City and stuff like that. Out in Utah? Nice. I'll have to check well, that I, out. Well, I don't know if that act, the Utah one actually exists, but yeah, there's there's people who made like fan films and they're like an hour and a half long. Really? Yeah. People like it's a passion project for some people. All right. Well, I won't be able to throw up those videos, so I'll I'll provide links. Yep. Down below. Somewhere around here. I assume they exist on YouTube somewhere. Yeah, or BitChute or Odyssey. Yeah. I'll find them. Always do. They exist. They exist. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, so that's my second pick. Like a, an updated 1980s Ghostbusters game. Okay. Yeah. Without the crummy congratulations at the end. Well, yeah. You'd have to throw that in somewhere, though. So, oh it gosh. would be a good nod. Yeah. Just be like, we didn't, we didn't forget about this. Yeah. So let's do that. All right. oh, I guess that makes it my turn, eh? Yeah. Uh, I'm going Dig Dug. Dig yeah, Dug. There hasn't been a Dig Dug, has there? No. And, unless, like, I missed it, but, like... Yeah, unless unless we both missed it. Yeah. Because I haven't seen anything. Yeah, Dig Dug seems, like, ripe for it's modern iteration. Because it's one of those games, like... Uh, or maybe I'm wrong, but... Yeah. It's, it seems like uh, it's up there with, like, Q-Bert. Yep. Uh, I don't know. Maybe not Pac-Man, but... Well, so the classic, but you know, Galaga, Cubert, Pac-Man. Uh, Bomberman. Bomberman. OG Mario Brothers. Yeah. Yeah. But it just kind of got yeah. left on the curb. That what happened to good old Doug? Yeah. Who digged? <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that, everybody. <laughs> High quality content right there. You ever... Uh, yeah. Swallow and choke on your own spit? Yes. Yeah, that sucks. It's not fun. That's what just happened. Yeah. I apologize for that. What's really fun I apologize is, to your ears for that. Yeah. What's really fun is doing that while you're brushing your teeth. Oh, that's the worst. That, I, I literally thought I was going to die when, when that happened. I believe it. Yeah. And you may have almost just died. Maybe I did. Maybe it's one of those situations where, like, you die in an alternate reality. Like a shortener is like the cat? Yeah. It's going to split up. Yeah. Maybe. I choked on a piece of steak once. I thought I was going to die. Yeah. That was terrifying. It's not fun. Like, I couldn't breathe. But yep. there was, like, just enough room to, like, get a little bit of oxygen until I could. Yeah. Choking on steak sucks. <laughs> it's only happened once. That's out, good. Out of all my years of uh, staking. Yeah. So, and I brought us off into the weeds again. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I ate before this one, so I would bring up food, but here we are. Yeah. Sure. Oh, uh, we're going to have a food episode coming up. Yes. Yeah. The, we, we have a friend. Somewhat future. Yeah. Do some smoking. Yeah. Some briskets. Some smoked meats. We might Maybe become some... a smoked meats podcast. I'm fine with that. Yeah. Yeah. We might We might undergo some drastic changes <laughs> in the near future Who for knows? 2022. Yeah. We'll see. It's a new world. It's a new world. Yeah. Dig dug. Yeah. What happened? Yeah. Like, why did every, everybody forgot about Dig Dug? Yeah. Why? Great Maybe, I know there was a kids. sequel, but kind of, yeah. it wasn't great. Yeah. Uh, for me, Bring for my, my next one, I've been uh, I've been watching, like, uh, on YouTube, someone play through, uh, well, not someone, but just someone, like, yeah, playing through uh, Star Trek Judgment Rights, which was a... Uh, like a, a point and click adventure game, oh, okay. But it's Star Trek. It, it came out in the '90s, but they got like all the original cast to voice their characters. 
Nice. And there's a bunch of like different missions that uh, are. It's broken up like Star Trek episodes. So like you beam to a planet with like McCoy and Scotty, and uh, you're you're trapped on a, a, a planet that looks like World War One because you remember Trelane from the original Star Trek. The he was kind of like Q, but he was the guy who uh, he Can't was a go- he was a god, but eventually. Uh, his parents came to get him, or what? what? I don't. Yeah, yeah. Look up the Trelane episodes because, yeah, on the Next Generation. Uh, no, OG. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I never really got into that. Yeah. If there's not a Dax involved, I probably, <laughs> I probably don't care. There's no Wharf. Yeah. Yeah. You got smooth head Klingons. <laughs> I love how they addressed that in the one episode. We don't talk about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that was amazing. It. Yeah. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, no, Star Trek Judgment, right? Uh, Might have to check that out. Yeah, just, like, even watching, so, like, the the Let's Play that I'm watching, like, there's no commentary or anything. This person just plays through it. But it's like watching episodes of Star Trek. Nice. Like, you know, they go and, you know, Spock will make some sort of logical comment about, you know, the situation. They'll scan stuff with their tricorders and stuff like that. It feels <laughs> like, you know, feels like... Ve- very, they did a good job of like replicating Star Trek though as a game. So I like to see. Obviously, you couldn't do original Star Trek now, but yeah, something like that for next generation, maybe that could be cool. Yeah, you get the cast to voice their voice their characters, and I don't know, man. Lavar and Lavar and I are uh, not on good oh, terms. Oh yeah, yeah. Episode thirty four. Check it out. <laughs> I don't, I don't even know if that's the right number. Probably not. <laughs> I don't even think we hit 34 episodes. Oh, yeah, no, we're on, like, 30. This is 36. Oh, crap. So that would have been, like, 24. Yeah, yeah. It was a while back. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Whoopi seems like she needs to She's Well, she was in, something. like, one of the episodes because they have this Picard series now. And Whoopi, yeah, I kind of heard about that. was in that in, like, the was first. She? Yeah. I mean, she, like she's. Some, some politician, like some Ariana Presley, I um, think. Is that the show? She played like the uh, president of Earth. I yeah, I'm, I'm. I only saw like the first episode of the. Yeah, I haven't seen any episodes. Yeah. I see. Yeah, Picard's weird. It's it it doesn't as much as Star Trek Judgment Rights felt like Star Trek. Picard doesn't really. Hmm, that's too bad. Yeah. So yeah, update of that. That's why. Uh, Let's keep watching Deep Space Nine re- you'll, reruns. Yeah, never, never just continually repeat Deep yeah. Space Nine. You'll never go wrong. Yeah, that's all you need. Yeah. It's great. Yep. It's World War II in space, basically. Yeah, or even do that, but with Deep Space Nine. Judgment rights. You have an adventure game. That'd be cool. Because I, I think most of the cast is still around. Uh Yeah, Michael Dorn's still kicking, as yep. far as I know. Uh James Avery. Yeah. What's he doing nowadays? Probably playing like jazz piano in San Francisco. Yeah, well, I think we did that that clip <laughs> a few episodes back, where it's like Shatner's talking to him and becomes all about jazz. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's like trippy. Shut up, man. I'm, yeah, I'm 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 noodling right now. <laughs> it's like we're we're talking about Star Trek captains. I'm playing jazz. Yeah, it's like that's nice. You can yeah talk about Star Trek. Yeah, like, as far as I know, um, like Nicole DeBoer, who played the Ezri Dax, yep. not Josia. No, she's still around. I think both Daxes are still around. Well, I think the only person who really passed away mm-hmm. was, uh, was it Rom? Rom? Did Rom die? Is Rom uh, dead? Uh, the, the, uh, the kid Ferengi. Was that Rom? No, Rom was the brother. Rom was the brother. Um, was oh, it? he was, yeah, he's friends with Cisco's kid. Yeah. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> we are fi- we're uh, we're losing our yeah, Star Trek credit. Yeah, right now. we just lost three subscribers, and we only have eight, so yeah. we're not doing great. <laughs> that rhymed, so that that's got to get at least one subscribe. Quark, Rom, and oh, that kid, yeah, and the kid, and the kid Frankie. <laughs> yeah, we, you're gonna sit through this silence as long as we are. I, oh man, I guess this is an excuse to watch Deep Space Nine again. So you can remember. Oh man, this is gonna me nuts. <laughs> I'm gonna wake up at like three in the morning. Yeah. And be like, oh, that's what it was. Oh man. He hang. He hung out with Jake Sisko. He's got a weird yeah, head. He, he has joins, big ass ears. Joined Starfleet. 
Uh, Very ambitious, kind of annoying. Yeah, lost his leg. Lost his leg. Oh yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, they did kind of like a poor PTSD type thing with him. Yeah, that storyline was kind of lame. Yeah, yeah, that took place in the holodeck mostly. Yeah, with that uh, with the jazz that singer. lounge singer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The Sinatra kind of type dude. Yeah, baseball episode sell it though. Oh hell yeah. I could watch that and repeat. And I just might. Tonight. Yeah. <laughs> you got any, Why more, kill him? got any more games you'd like to see uh, redone? Oh, yeah. I got more. I got lots more. Okay. Uh, food Fight. Oh. Okay. Atari. Yeah. It's kind of like a Bomberman. Uh, sort of. It was, it's a, t- a top-down game. Yeah. So, like, but kind of also a profile. Like your character profile and you're running around to uh, piles of food. Yeah. You got, like, spinach. And a watermelon is the one you want to get because there's unlimited. It doesn't <laughs> run out. And you're just throwing food at chefs. That's, that's until the strat- they. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Nice. Food fight. I'll, again, if I don't get in trouble, get us in trouble. Put a video of it right about here. Food fight. Uh, yeah, it's for Atari. Yep. I think I'm you know, repeating myself now. But, um, yeah. It. That's all I got. Yeah. Food Fight was a great game. I played the crap out of that game when I was a kid. Yeah, you're just this big-headed blonde dude. Yeah. I think it's a kid, but it's kind of hard to tell because it's all, like, 8-bit. Yeah, you just run around this sandbox and just throw food at chefs and then until you clear the level. Less, yeah, it, it sounds simple, but that that's what we had for Atari games. Like, they yeah. weren't super complex or anything. Didn't need to be. They only had, like, four colors to work with. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically, yeah, yeah, red, green, blue, and yeah. whatever's left. Sound was never that great. Nope. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm not going to try a sound effect right no, now. No, no. I've embarrassed myself enough this episode. Yeah. But yeah, Food Fight, Atari. If you know it, you know it. If you don't, find out. Yep. Um, I could see that. What was that game for... Oh, was it the Wii or the Switch where they like, you're like you're cut, it's basically paintball and you can like dive into like your own oh, colors. Oh, uh, yeah, Did it had like the squid characters. Uh, yeah, I think uh, so. Splatoon. Is it? Splatoon? Yeah, it's kind of like Food Fight could use that kind of treatment. Yeah. But instead of ink, it's food. Food, yeah. Nice. Just thinking out loud. This isn't necessarily a remake because it's already been remade, but Here's what we're due for. We're due for another XCOM game. <laughs> You're damn right we are. Yeah. Because it's been like five or six years since like XCOM 2 came out. That's so. crazy. Yeah. Come on, guys. I, I, want, I want some more XCOM. Yeah. I want some more XCOM. We need more of that. Yeah. We're waiting for it. I, I've been a fan ever since the, the game of the 90s, man. Like yeah. the, the OG ones. XCOM is fantastic. Maybe if we just say XCOM enough. Yeah. Maybe the algorithm will just be like, oh, <laughs> probably not, but for the shot. Yeah. That's good. That's good. <laughs> I hope. I hope. Uh, I got more. Yeah, sure. But, yeah, I know I am I am totally on board for another XCOM. They don't – they're so good, but come on, guys. I need more. Yeah. You gave, you gave me a taste. I need more cowbell. <laughs> come on, guys. Uh, Kate did Little Nemo, Dig Dug, Food Fight, Marble Madness. Oh, yeah. yeah. Marble Madness. If you uh, grew up with a Nintendo, you probably came across that. Yep. Basically, you guide a marble down a weird... I don't know how you describe it. Kind of like, kind of looks like this, but with paths. Yep. And you got to navigate a marble to your goal, to the finish line. Yep. Uh, doesn't sound hard, but it kind of is. Yeah. I could see that just, you know, using a fresh coat of paint. Yeah, it was... Um also used to like uh, snake rattle and roll. And it was kind of like the Ooh, same like view as Marble Madness, but you were a snake. Okay. Yeah. I haven't heard of that one. I'll have to look that up. Yep. I, I couldn't tell you too much more about it. I remember having a great time with it when I was a kid. Are, are you out? Because I can keep going. Yeah, go ahead. All right. Um, we need to bring back Contra. Yes. Yeah. And not like some like COD treatment. No, just 2D. Side scrolling, yeah, Contra. or even like the one from the Super Nintendo, where they had like they would have those levels where you're like looking down. Oh yeah, yeah. You grab your guns. Con- Contra three was like yeah. this, like this. 
There we go. Yep. Yeah, I know the uh, Contra series was great. It's uh, it it gave us the Konami code. Yeah, up, up, down, down, left, left right. right, left, right. B A start. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if that was the first one, but that was the, like the that's where it kind of became a. Well, it was always, it was always a select either. start for me because, like, I have brothers, so it was always two two players. Yeah, if, yeah. If you're doing two yeah. players, you gotta do up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. B A select start. Yep. Worked for uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles to the arcade game as well. Yep. And uh, oh, what was that shooter game? Oh, I can't remember. But basically, any Konami game. It, yeah. Well, it, well, yeah. Worked chances for a lot are. Of nine lives. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that's great. But yeah, Contra. I want to see. I want to see Contra make a comeback. Yeah. Also, great soundtrack Contra had. Yeah, do, do. I can't do it. Yeah. <laughs> without a vocal. There, there's like, uh, there's people who do like remixes of, of like old video game music, uh, oh, yeah. with like electric guitar and stuff like that. It's fabulous. Should I keep going? Yeah, go ahead. All right. Probably can't do it nowadays because of I don't know legalities, but. <laughs> And this is probably the third, maybe fourth time I've brought it up. Yeah. But Afterburner. Yes. Come on. Yeah. Afterburner. It's like a ride and a video game at the same time. <laughs> yeah. It's a fun one. I don't know how much of a case, more of a case I need to build than that. It's very 90s or late 80s. Yeah, I think it was 80s. Yeah. Like Sega. Yeah, I, yeah, I think it was 80s, yeah. But yeah, you're, you get into this like we, we had... I think we had, like, a home version of it. I'm not sure for, like, PC or something like that. Was there a home version? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess there was well, a I mean, there was Well, I mean, yeah, there was, like, a Nintendo port, I think. I don't think we had that, though. I remember playing it. Just saying, Top Gun's not out yet. Yeah. And a new Afterburner ain't out yet. Maybe some phone calls should yeah. uh, be made. We need some We need some jet stuff going. Yeah. Because yep. on, on this channel, all about jet porn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh okay i got one more sure. punch out punch it yeah i know it, it, it kind of has continued as a series like, yeah, yeah it I'm, was on nintendo and then or nes and then super nintendo yeah. 64 i not did sure did they do anything for the uh they did one switch. for the wii because i mean switch, yeah you I'm got those sure. you got those nunchucks i mean that would be natural for because the, the one for the wii was great yeah but i went like classic controller yeah. That was amazing. But I don't know. I haven't heard about any punch out updates lately. Come on, Mike Tyson. Yeah. They, He's releasing like ear shaped weed gummies. Yeah. You know, at least just tack your name onto it. Ha, have you ever seen his cartoon? <laughs> the, oh, what's it called? The Mystery. <laughs> Mike uh, Tyson Mysteries or whatever. It's very, yeah. It's fantastic. It, it is. It is. Too bad uh, Norm. Uh, McDonald passed away because oh, he, yeah, he was the pitch, right? That, yeah, yeah. Rest in peace, Norm McDonald. Yep, you're well loved. Oh, I'd like but, to see. Uh, oh. I I just thought of this. Um, <coughs> back in the Sorry. days of like Doom first person shooters, yep. There was kind of kind of a Doom knockoff called Blake Stone. It was just basically Doom, but more science fictiony. Okay, it was kind of like in between. Wolfenstein and Doom in terms of like graphics and stuff, but mm. nobody's done anything with Blake Stone s- since, from what I. Yeah, it's just sitting there. Yeah, it's, a, it's an IP that could be brought back. So there you go, Internet. Yep. Let's let's, let's make some moves. Yeah. Get All some right. stuff going. All right. Before we get to um, our, uh, we're we doing oh yeah, companies. How to improve companies. Yeah. Bit of a curveball. But we're going to throw into a, a whatever happened to. Okay. The KFC console. What yeah. gives? Where is that? I still want it. Yeah. I mean, how else are you going to keep your chicken warm while you play video games? Yeah, I can't think of another way. No. <laughs> you want me to get to my oven? It's it's on the other side of the yeah. building. I mean, why why not have that fabulous combination? See, they, they did a couple of mean things. Like, they released that I Love You Colonel Sanders game. <laughs> which was like a free dating sim where you dated Colonel Sanders. <laughs> uh, I, I love this timeline. Yeah. The fact that that exists is, is something. But I want one. I'm, I'm going to track one down. Yeah. yeah I will internet my way into 
possession of a KFC yeah. console. Well, it or KF console. Is, yeah, KFC console. Uh, what else we got here? I, I See, I prepared this time. Yeah. So I got a lot to talk about. Oh, well, not really. Uh, little Yachty making the Uno movie. What happened to that? Don't know. No one does. I didn't even know someone was making a new movie. Yeah, Lil Yahi. He's like a rapper. He was like famous like five years ago. Okay. And uh, he was in talks with, I don't know, some production studio to uh, make a movie based on the card game Uno. I, I mean, they made a battleship movie, so anything's possible, right? Yeah. Yeah. But uh, it seems to be MIA. Uh, what else we got here? Oh, this one's kind of sad. Razor Ramon passed away. Yeah. Yeah. Scott. He was kind of a WWF, like, Attitude Era type. Yeah, he had the curl. Let's see if I can do yeah. that. Probably can't, but in, in homage. Like, I, I wasn't okay. super into wrestling at the time, but, like, I knew who Razor Ramon was because he was so kind of iconic looking. And it, yeah, it, the, it, the it, snakeskin vest yeah. and the toothpaste. Razor Ramon. Yeah, Razor Ramon. And he did the Razor's Edge, which yeah. he'd pick you up, like, backwards by, like, your armpits and stuff. Yeah, and like that was great. I I probably like aside from like Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Undertaker, I couldn't probably name any other wrestlers from that era. Oh, him and Diesel, they were like they yeah. were tight. Kevin Nash, I know of and, um, like, some. Kane, Kane, yeah. Anyways, yeah, we're getting off topic. Sorry, we're, yeah. we're uh, naming random wrestlers. But yeah, <laughs> Scott Razor Ramon, man, yeah. He was a good one. He was great. And, like, apparently he was really unexpected. Yeah, yeah, there was something his family had to take him off life support or something. Like, I'm not 100% sure what happened. Yeah, I don't know, like, all the details. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, that sucks. So, um, yeah, R.I.P. Razor Ramon. Yeah. Yeah. I still have video games with him in it. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. And uh, Daylight Savings Time is under attack. We don't do it here, which is funny. No, we don't. No, we, we live in this weird, there's this weird triangle. <laughs> yeah, we live in a vacuum. In northeastern BC where we don't do daylight savings time. It is so odd. I love it. Yeah. It makes perfect sense. But now the states, I guess, is just like, let's just not do that anymore. Or permanently stick to two daylight savings time, not just standard time. No one likes it. So No. It, like, no one can explain why we do it. Well, I mean, yeah, I guess I, once upon a time. I think like it a, had something to do with farmers at one point, but. Yeah, and like a guy who liked to study bugs. Yeah. He's like, uh, I wish I had more daylight. Well, Why don't up, we just get change earlier. time? Yeah. Just shift it. Yep. So. As someone who lives in a daylight savings. I, I can't time say free, I've, I've missed daylight savings time since. No, it's annoying. Day. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. It just frustrates everybody. <laughs> That's all it does. It just causes confusion and disruption. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, talking to my family in different provinces, it's like, oh, God. what time zone are you on now? Yeah, like, we got a call, like, Alberta, which is, like, 20 minutes away. Yeah. Well, maybe a little more than that. But, uh, you know, it's like, you got to worry about, it's like, okay, are they on uh, are, Spring Forward or Fall? Yeah, I, I think they're an hour ahead of us now. Sometimes. Yeah. For half the year, at least. Even my Mac. Yeah. Half the year, it doesn't know what time it is. No. So if you, wherever you are, sc- screw that time change thing. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. But the states, is they're fighting for it. I don't know what the fight, like, who's who's against it? Yeah. I mean, who, who's farming now except for farmers? Like, it's not. Yeah, they, we they don't know what have time a, it is. Yeah. So. We have lights, you know. Yeah. There we go. Uh, yeah, apparently, I'm very passionate about daylight savings time, <laughs> or the lack thereof. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Should we move on? Yeah. Sure. Because I could talk about daylight savings time and why it doesn't make any sense for too long. At least several minutes. Multiple. Yeah. All right. We're gonna right. we're gonna try to fix some companies. Yeah. Let's do it. All right. I'll go first. Go ahead. Walmart needs to enforce a dress code. See, that's part of the charm of Walmart, though, is the fact. <laughs> I, I understand your point. I get it. But it's a dead meme. Everyone knows. It's like, okay, you're going to see some some thongs. Yeah. Like, I, I, we've I, all seen them. I, I've never understood wearing pajama pants outside of the house. Yeah, right? 
Yeah. Especially on a plane. I've, I've never seen it on a plane, but. Really? Yeah. Flying, like, I know, like, maybe this is going way back, but, like, in the 50s, you would, like, dress up. Like, you, would, you would, like, you know, I'm going on a flight. Yeah. Oh, I better get my Sunday best on. Yeah. Me too. Now people show up with, like, a pillow wrapped around their head and pajamas that, like, yeah. the bottom of the legs are all tattered and covered in applesauce. And that was terrible. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've, I've never, never got the whole, like, wearing pajama pants. Like, I like to be comfortable. Oh, who doesn't? Yeah. But I, I don't know. There, there's something, there's some sort of mental barrier that I have. It's like, yeah, pajama pants outside, no. Not yeah. Happy. Yeah. But, like I said, though, part of the term of Walmart is some of the crazy things that people wear. Like, it has been a lol cow for a long time. Yeah. And I appreciate it. But enough's enough. Come on. Like, don't wear pajamas white. Well, yeah, well, well, that's the thing. Pajamas are probably the least offensive thing. Yeah. yeah oh, God, you're probably right. <laughs> yeah. Because, yeah, that pajama, yeah, that pajama is like the entry level weird Walmart yeah. outfit. I think it's just somewhere where like a plastic garbage bag is like a skirt. <laughs> probably. So like, don't worry. I'll pay for it. Yeah. Like she, she didn't bring it with her. She found some garbage bags <laughs> and threw it on. Pull it up. Yep. So yeah, Walmart needs a dress code. I, like, come on, people. We we know what we're doing wrong. We're just not doing anything to fix it. <laughs> uh, for me, I'm not I'm not going to name a specific spot, but oh yeah, should I have not said the W? No, so well, Walmart. It's known for that. Yeah, I think we're safe. Yeah. Well, this mine's more of a, a general thing. Okay. But if you're Restaurant has drive through. Please don't ignore the people who walk in. There's nothing more frustrating than walking into like a, a place that has drive through and you watch all the people serving the drive through and you're just standing there being ignored. Okay. Yeah, I could see that. Yep. I haven't really had that problem because I'm always walking. Well, I, I am. Especially, yeah, but, yeah. but that's the thing when you walk in and they're serving yeah. the drive through people. I understand hmm. well, drive through is a big part of your business, but... I guess it depends on where you're going, maybe? Yeah. I feel like a fool standing there. Yeah, it's like... And, and like I just want a bagel the, and some orange juice. There, there always seems to be, like, no eye contact. <laughs> I've noticed that. Yeah. Actually, to back to Walmart, I've been in Walmarts where they, I've literally made eye contact with people. Yeah. And they just 180. Oh, yeah. Like, they see me, and they see me seeing them. They're like, nope. It's like... <laughs> I wasn't even trying to ask you a question. I was just, we just made eye contact, and that was enough for them to bolt. Yep. Well, here, here's something. Come on, Walmart. You can do better. Here's kind of the opposite of that is that sometimes I don't want to be helped. Just yeah, right? Like, like, I wish there was, like, a, a tag or something I could wear. It's like, it's like I'm fine. I'm, I'm just looking. Don't approach me. I, I'm just here browsing. Because like, I have, like, back in the day, like when, I, like, when I was a teenager, like, oh, yeah, get aggressive. Like, try to sell stuff. Yeah. Like, but I'm that kind of person. Like, like you're saying, like, it's like, can I help you find something? Like, oh no, I'm just checking. Like, if I if I need out. help, I'll I'll go and yeah. ask for help. But then when you get asked if you need help yeah. for like the third time, it's like, uh, okay, I'm out. Yeah. Like, Believe me, I've I've got stuff going on in here. Don't don't interrupt that. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing my thing. Yeah, connecting dots. I'm see if I want to purchase something. I don't need you hounding me. Like, yeah. I don't need your help in deciding if I want to buy something. No. So, shout out to uh, retail commission workers. Yep. I got nothing to say there. No. But. Yeah. It does get annoying when you're asked if you need something or if you need help for, like, just every five minutes. I, I'm, I'm in my head. Don't, don't pull me out of my head. Yeah. I'm thinking about it as something probably not important. <laughs> yeah. But I'm here. Yeah. Looking to spend money. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, do sheep itch. They're covered <laughs> in wool. So, uh, <laughs> thumbs down to uh, over, over assertive uh, retail workers. Yeah. Clothing yep. employees. Looking at you, Marks. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I just made it personal. Oh, yeah. Actually, yeah. For no reason. I, <laughs> I actually like you, Marks. You're pretty good. Decent dress clothes. Yes. Yep. 
Yeah, people at, who work and shop at Mark's Works. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure what we're allowed to say anymore. <laughs> Big Tech's got me trembling in my boots. Mark's Works Warehouse. Yeah, they're way better dressed and way better clientele than Walmart. Yep. That's all I'm saying. No pajamas. That's my point. No. Yep. I don't know if they sell pajamas there. Probably not. Probably not. Business casual or better, at least. Yeah. yeah. All right, you got another suggestion? Uh, yeah. Is um, is Blizzard still around? <laughs> In some capacity, yeah. All right, my advice would be to not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they've blown it at this point. Scrap it. Yeah, like... What happened? Yeah. I mean, they. I, I mean, aside from, like, all that, even in terms of, like, releasing stuff, like, they released, re-released Diablo 2, and it was, like, like what? 50 bucks or something. What? Like that. Yeah. It was, <laughs> it's like, I'm, I'm not paying 50 bucks for, like, a game from the late 90s. Yeah, like, I already, pl- I already paid 80 bucks yeah. for it the I first bought, time. I bought that. I bought Lord of Destruction when I was a teenager. I don't need to spend money on that again. Much yeah, as I like bad. Diablo 2. So I don't know if that was an answer or not. Yeah. But my answer is, hey, Blizzard, uh, you might just want to. Eh. Yeah. Uh, Subway. Yep. Needs more toppings. Yes, yeah, it's, it's... I, I kind of wonder if that's a local thing. I don't know. Could be. Like, I'm, I'm wondering, think... like, if you go to the States, if, like, they... Because everything's bigger there. I wonder if they have. Definitely. But at least here where we are, if it's not a pepper or lettuce or a tomato. Yeah, like they got green peppers. What about the yellows and the red peppers? Yeah. Give us a mix of peppers. People like those. Yeah. And actually a lot of people I know like them more than the green peppers. So yep. you're kind of, kind of missing the mark there. And I'd also go shredded carrots. Yeah. Not something that I pitch on subs normally, but. Vietnamese subs. Yep. My God, if you haven't had one, I'm talking to you and you. Okay. Vietnamese subs are amazing. Nice. And they come with shredded carrots. Yeah. And it works. Let's get some bacon bits. Sure. Yeah. I'm down. Yeah. I mean, they have Do bacon. you want, like, the real bacon bits or those fake, like, uh, who, who those, like, crunchy ones? No. No. You're going, like, real? I want some real bacon bits, yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. Give me some chunks of bacon. Like, I know you, that you can, yes, you can get bacon. But sometimes it is you, different. Yeah, sometimes you don't want a slice of bacon. You want yeah. some bacon bits. They got a different texture. Yeah, mm-hmm. more fun. Like they're like sprinkles, yeah. bacon sprinkles. Sprink, yeah. Share it. Hashtag hashtag bacon sprinkles. <laughs> I'm just imagining a donut now with bacon bits sprinkles. I, I'm sure that's some, probably happened. Yeah, I'm sure someone's made it. Yeah, because there there was a while where Let's they were putting up. bacon on everything, and yeah, like everything. a lot a lot of it was questionable. And like there's bacon flavored or scented everything. Yeah, like bacon ice cream. Like uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, no thanks. I had lobster ice cream. Yeah, didn't taste like lobster. It was good actually. Yeah. And we're back on food. Jeez. We're just, yeah. Like what are we doing, dude? Let's just yeah. turn this into a food channel. Okay. Um, but uh, TVs, uh, G four. I didn't even know they came back. Yeah. But apparently they're gone again. Yeah, it's, it's like they came back, they crapped on their audience, and they're gone. Yeah, I was like, see ya. Yeah. Because, like, back in the day, I, like, I loved uh, Attack of the Show. Yeah, that was, uh, like, I mean. Olivia well, Munn and Kevin Ferrer. Like, pre-YouTube, I mean. Yeah. For video game news, it was, like, either, like, Attack the Show, X-Play. Yeah. Um, reviews on the Run. I remember that one. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, I think wow. that, I think that was actually based out of Canada. Could be I right. think you're right. I think yeah. it's in Vancouver. Yeah. If I'm, I might have to. Because li- like it used to come on Canadian TVs, and uh, I'm sure. Yeah. D- do you remember Video and Arcade Top Ten? Yeah, I do. With Nicholas Piccolis. Yep. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> that, now there, there's everyone outside of Canada is going to be like, "What the hell are they talking about?" It's a Google search away. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if they still exist online. Probably that, not. But yeah, there was a been in my memory for video in Arcade 10 Top 10 where they would like, yep. they'd bring in three kids and they'd have to play a video game. And one kid yeah. would come in first place and they'd win like a, a prize pack. 
that medieval times was always like the prize. Or something <laughs> yeah, <like that>. yeah. <laughs> I remember a lot of medieval times. You get a drumstick for dinner. Yeah. Big, but. I never, that, that's one place I want to go. I've never been to medieval times. So I want to go for a laugh. Yeah, neither have I. Yeah. Are they still around? I don't know. I hope so. Because yeah. I know like in Toronto they had one down by the X. Yeah. I, I'm sure they probably, yeah, with the pandemic, I, I don't, that probably affected it. So I don't know. Well, if they weren't around, I'd, or I would have expected them to like not be around like way before the pandemic. Yeah. I just know a cable guy was shot there. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows the that. The one in Toronto? Yeah. Oh, really? I didn't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh god that's on camera oh yeah yeah weird segue from uh, G4 to <laughs> medieval <laughs> times <laughs> yeah look at video arcade top 10 though with, yeah do it with Nicholas Piccolis not his real name yeah no probably not no, well, although I hope that's it is what it, I think that used to come up in parentheses next to his name or oh did it yeah or that's actually his name it's not his real name though I think I, I looked him up once like who he was uh, and no it wasn't his real name but yeah, they used to go through like movies and stuff like that while the kids were playing, uh, playing like uh, s- some Super Nintendo game with a super scope. <laughs> super scope, sweet. Yeah. Oh crap! What was that one? I can't. I, there was only like two games for the super yeah. scope. Like, like you're just shooting at robots. Yeah. Crap. <laughs> this is what happens when we do this live, people. Nog. No editing. Nog! <laughs> hey! There it is. The kid from, uh, the Frankie kid from Deep Space Nine. There's Nog. You know, when you're editing, go back and put up like a timestamp <laughs> yeah. of uh, when they realize how long it takes them. Well, it took like, I don't know, 20 minutes, half an hour. Nog. Yeah. There it is. I well knew, done. I knew it was short. Like it was like three letters, but. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if we can beat that. Well, I think we should just end there. <laughs> Probably. Like, that seems good to me. And then a high note. We good? I can't beat Nog. Yeah. We're at, we're at like 50, How we doing? 50 minutes, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's a good time. All right. Well, welcome back, everybody. <laughs> Hopefully, we're, we'll be a little bit more regular. Yeah, yeah. we're going to try. Yeah. Well, we got to eat more bran. <laughs> yeah. But it's getting nice out, so we're waking up earlier. Yeah. Sun's shining. Expect more food content. Yes. Yeah. Seriously, we do have... Oh, yeah. We, oh, we got something in the works. There's yeah. going to be some smoking, maybe some uh, brisket, some bison, some caribou. Oh, oh no. no, oh, no, no, Not caribou. Not caribou. No. Yeah, that's a... Uh, yeah. We can't do it's that a, around here. Yeah. It's a very sensitive topic around here. But uh, some meats. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to try a cooking show. So, yeah. I don't know why I'm getting getting so... <laughs> so close to the microphone. ASMR. Yeah. We're gonna cook oh, for you. If you're into ASMR, check out Animal ASMR. Yep. There's a turtle eating watermelon. <laughs> it's fantastic. Always comes back to watermelons. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching Media Minute. I'm Michael Forward. I'm Chris Raskowski. We'll We're on you. BitChute and Odyssey. I'll throw them somewhere around here. I haven't decided yet. Oh, and YouTube. Yeah. And expect some food shows coming up. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, we're just going to eat some beef. Yeah. Some animals. Nice. Cool. All right, see you next time. Yeah, that wasn't very, that wasn't a smooth outro, but. Bye. See ya. (laughs) Oh, boy.